We didn't put up a vlog last week. Christmas and all that. But we've come to the uh, astounding fact that we have nothing to talk about. Well, I, 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 know, I can think of something that we can talk about. What? We cut up a whole bunch of carrots, blanched them, and then froze them. And then when we wanted to make a soup in the Instant Pot, all we did is took them out of the freezer, put them in the pot, and it was so quick, so fast, because we had everything done ahead of time. I chopped. It was good soup too. It had beef in it. Mm -hmm. I chopped. I did. I did the same thing with the celery. Did I blanch the celery? I don't remember. I think I did. Where you blanch it, heat it up to kill all the enzymes. Because if you don't blanch it when you freeze it, it continues deterioration and it don't taste as good. However, I ended up chopping it up, getting it all prepped and all that, put in storage bags. The carrots prop chopped up, prepped, put in storage bags. And I had the stew meat that I did with a, got a bag, uh, round roast in a bag, chopped off the ends. The ends of it I turned into stew meat. And that's what we used for the stew. Then we threw the vegetables and all that, cooked it. Excuse and me. while that was cooking, I took my the middle part of the round roast and I salt peppered it, all that, oiled it. Got it all prepped up, put it in my Hamilton Beach uh, toaster oven. It's Hamilton Beach? Yes, it's a Hamilton Beach. I didn't know it was Hamilton Beach. And it has a rotisserie unit in it. So I take my roast and I rotisserie it. And I just kind of do it for like two, two and a half hours, three hours. And check the temperature when I get at the two hour mark to make, get it to 100. And, I think it's 160, I believe is what I usually do. And it makes it nice and just pink and good. And then I take the roast out, refrigerate it overnight, and then I run it through my slicer, and it makes the best sliced lunch meat. There we go. There. Well, we also opened presents, went to church on Christmas Eve, opened presents at my parents. Opened some presents here. Opened some presents here at home the on Christmas Day. Day. Went to another friend's house on Christmas Day, exchanged Christmas presents over there, and then went to my parents' back for Christmas Day. Oh, hey, and on Wednesday, the day after Christmas, we had eye exams. At the same time. At the same time. Eye dilations and all that. It was eye fun. dilation. It was, it was fun driving great. home. Great. Everything had a halo around it. Then we had to go try and pick out new frames while our eyeballs were like, I can't see anything. How's this color? Uh, I think it's okay. <laughs> but we have new glasses. We should get them by next Saturday. Not not tomorrow, but a week from tomorrow. And then today I, I did gold nails. Because I screwed up and did a color I didn't like. And then I put gold on top of them. And now and they're I all... Fixed it. And now they feel all scratchy and stuff because there's glitter in it. So next time I'll know better. But you know, you you learn these these won't be on very long anyway. I think I think they'll come off pretty quick, but that's okay. I like the gold. It's glittery and sparkly. Yes, the glitter is really cool by itself too. Yeah, I've spilled a little bit on a paper towel when I was dipping my nails. It's actually really nice glitter. If it didn't have the acrylic in it, you could use it for glitter. But it has acrylic in it. Because they're dip powder nails. Or nail dip powder. But I have this one really sharp edge on this pinky that is really driving me nuts. So pretty soon I'm going to have to just go file that corner. Because it's driving me crazy. I also dyed my hair. But that's pointless to discuss. But anyhow. That was a good tip on the roast though. I... Because at first, when it, every time, sorry. Go I ahead. I'm just. We. If this you, is the world's try, most if, pointless vlog. Well, if you try and slice the roast when you first take it out, it's gonna fall apart and not hold together. But if you if you refrigerate it overnight, all the juice and all that soaks back into it. It's nice and juicy and flavorful. And then you slice it, and it don't fall apart because it's all condensed and back together. You ever notice how we just jump from subject to subject and go back and forth, and we make no sense? Maybe that'll be our thing. Maybe that'll get us viewers and subscribers. We make no sense. <laughs> Other than 
She can tell her story, then I'll tell mine, then she can tell hers, tell mine. And they don't, and they don't. To, and you have to watch the whole video to learn something. And, and they don't, they don't match. They don't make, <laughs> neither story has to do with each other. So in order to, you know, say, yeah, I guess you have to watch the whole video to figure out how the story ends. Well, B vitamins, I th if I remember right, B vitamins do help nails grow. And if the nails grow, you have to paint them and all that. So, and the roast has meat. So it's sort of related. Yeah. Okay. It was You're a reaching. Reaching. <laughs> Oh, our daughter did get an American Girl doll for Christmas, but it's in the office right now. That would involve me getting up and going to get said doll. I'll go get the doll. <laughs> <laughs> While drinking my soup on the way. He's having cream of mushroom soup for dinner because he was at work. We were not. Our kiddo and I were home. See, I have an American Girl doll myself. I have an American Girl doll. That has many. Just kidding. But that's my American Girl doll. This is our daughter's American Girl doll. We bought her the 2018 Girl of the Year. Luciana Vega or Lu, 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 Lucy, I, I, I'm assuming. We call her one. Lucy for short. We call her Lucy. Um, you'll also note that my doll is wearing the shoes that came with Lucy. And that is because they have laces and our daughter doesn't do good with laces. Do we well. wanted um, your do well, whatever, grammar person. So we, but we wanted to make sure that, you know, she had some shoes she didn't just get a doll barefoot doll so hobby lobby sells um shoes and stuff for 18 inch dolls so we bought these pink glitter shoes and they happen to fit and they fit um pretty good pretty well yes <laughs> somebody needs to just drink his hot chocolate <laughs> yes i'm done with the super so now i get to do my drink but yeah this is this is lucy she want, um, our daughter wanted her hair in ponytails, so I put her hair in ponytails. She does have another outfit she can change Lucy into, but I don't have that out right now. Um, and she's also got the accessory pack, the backpack and all that, which I don't know where they are because I think they might be in her purse. Yeah, that's where she usually gets it. But that's where she keeps it. I take it this entails the hint of me going over to her purse and pulling it no. out. No. Okay. No, we don't need to see her kit. Although the star chart is really annoying. It's really annoying. You're going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to set that down and you can... Look, it's 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 a little there head. Okay. There you are. I'm way down there. And that did not take long. But we bought, we bought her accessories. So she had the... Yes, I got a pony! <laughs> We bought her accessories. Here's a backpack. And in the backpack they have like freeze dried ice cream. It's plastic ice cream. Not that this is really exciting, but see there's Neapolitan. But the thing I wanted to to show was the star this star star target thing. Star which target. is well it says star target. Orion Star Target. Oh. Constellation and classical object finder. Or celestial object finder. But you need a magnifying glass to read this thing. Of course, it's supposed to be for dolls, so maybe dolls don't need a magnifying glass. Use your imagination. But yeah, that, that's, that's what she got for Christmas, was Lucy and her accessories. So if you ever get Battlestar Galactica dolls, then uh, they'll follow the star chart to cross the galaxy to find her. It's a backpack. It's beautiful. All right, well. Did not come with... Uh... Who's the one that does the backpack, backpack? Did not come with boots. Yes. But anyways, we have the backpack, boots, door, the explorer. That's it. But um, anyways, that's that's her Christmas present. It's lovely. So, oops, the eye is weird. I ended up naming hers. 
What? Your doll. I named your doll. Yes. He named my doll Jennifer. Why? Because when this doll's hair is down, she looks like Jennifer Aniston. It's kind of scary. But she does really look like Jennifer Aniston. She didn't so. believe me at first, but when her commercial came on the TV, I set it by the TV next to her, and she goes, oh my gosh, now I can't unsee it. Can't unsee so it. So her name went from... Donna. Donna to... Because I was going to I, I was going to use that doll to, to dress her up to look like Donna Noble from Doctor Who, but that didn't work well. I spoiled it. He changed it. Anyways, that is about all. We're going to go get this edited and put up overnight, and then you get another exciting vlog from us. Hopefully next week we'll have a little more content, but it's hard to do videos when our kiddo's not in school. Because granted, she was up on the video when we were decorating for Christmas, but we don't like her to be on camera often. Often. Whatever. That is like the fourth time you've corrected me. Stop it. That's okay. It's annoying. Anyways. Oh, wait, a while then. Is that how it goes? A while? I don't know. I can't remember how Brian did it. So, we will see you all next week. Well, yeah. Hope you have a happy new year. Happy new year. See everyone next year. Ooh, yeah, we'll see you next year. All right. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Click like. Subscribe. Make us feel better about ourselves. <laughs> Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Relatives. Relatives. Whoever. Common strangers on the street. Acquaintances. <laughs> Bob and Bob and now I can't think of the whatever it is like Bob in your company or what I don't know never mind Bob in the mail room there we go tell Bob in the mail room bye bye <laughs>